This is Heather Elizabeth from Antique Agenda, and I have a little show and tell for you today. It should be a very short video, but I did stop by my thrift store to look for some frames for that antique postcard that I had picked up and was not successful um, for that, but I did find a cute frame that would work for a postcard, a different kind, because this frame has to go vertical. And it is this kind of a pewter finish. And it's really unique. I, I thought that this, um, it's almost uh, like, a, like, a, like a building or like it has like a base on the bottom and then like an ornament at the top. Um, and I, I think this will be perfect for an antique postcard, just not the one I bought. So I'll keep an eye out for maybe something that will look good for this, oh, and this was $4 at the, the thrift store. So <clears throat> uh, that was just like a basic arc in Denver. Um, they are not the cheapest, but um, every once in a while I can find something very, very rarely for me. Um, so the other thing I wanted to share with you was, if you remember, I got that antique candy tin with the butterflies on it and it had those holes on the top. And I was playing around with the idea of of fiddling with it and I did <laughs> so you can tell me if you like it or not um, I did not glue anything though I just used some wire and fished it through there were two staple holes on either side um, a large um, space on these there's a hole here and a hole down here and then I have two close little holes right here and so I fished some wire through it tightened it up and use that as a um, anchor to attach the ribbons and the, I got a little antique key and a dress clip. And I think it turned out pretty cute. I, I think it looks better than just having the holes. Um, the, the dress clip might seem a little big, but it was able to, it was big enough so that it could cover the hole because there's, Kind of a large space there so i played with it but if i ever want to put it back to its original state that i found it i can always clip off the wires and it will be just the same as it was so i have one last item for my show and tell and it is something that i have had in my storage forever it is um it's a piece of art it's an antique engraving and it um, was purchased from a woman who had a business, an at-home business. Well, it was an estate sale and her home was just filled with uh, book engravings, antique book engravings. I mean, boxes upon boxes upon boxes. And so this was one where she had it already all wrapped up um, with a mat on it and the mat is gorgeous. So I've had it forever and I just decided to take a frame from a painting that I got at a thrift store where the painting had a hole in it. And so the minute I picked it up, I knew I was just gonna save it for the frame. And I finally got around to putting these babies together and it turned out really nice. So I wanted to share it with you. And so here's the frame and you can see it looks fantastic. I got the anti-glare glass and it looks, it, you, I mean, I almost couldn't even tell there was glass in it when I picked it up. Um, if you look at the frame close up, it's, it's just great. They didn't have anything like this. I got this one at Michael's. I looked at the frames at Michael's. N nothing like this. Nothing with the, the heft and width of, of this kind of a molding. And um, it just turned out great. I, I am really happy with it. Um, the framing cost me $40, $45. And I'd had the engraving forever. I'm not sure how much, how much I paid for it, but uh, I'm, I think it probably was around $40 as well. So if you put it together, uh, I think I got a really great piece. I mean, you know, once you add, all, add it all up, it wasn't cheap, but the frame itself was cheap. The frame was $2. So I had the frame, I had the engraving, and I took it to Michael's, and just for the cost of putting it together in the glass, 
was about $45. But I am very happy with it. I wanted to give you a little look-see and share because I am so pleased. And that is it. I really hope you enjoyed my show and tell for today. I will see you guys soon. Please consider subscribing if you haven't. And bye for now. Mm -hmm.